video I want to talk about hyperextension of the lower back during deadlifts and squats and why you don't want to do it. Before I get into that topic, guys, I encourage you to check out my Q&A link below. Come on over, post your questions, and that Q&A link I answer every question posted. The best questions I turn into a Q&A video every Sunday, so look for that. Now, I got a question from a guy who says he was squatting, and he has a, a lower back issue. It's not, it's not a muscle issue. It's right at the base of his spine. It feels very, very tender. It feels very tender. So it made me want to talk about the hyperextension of the lower back before squatting and deadlifting. Because I see guys doing this all the time on YouTube, and I see guys doing this all the time on Instagram. You don't want to hyperextend your lower back prior to squats and deadlifts, prior to performing that rep. Now let me explain what hyperextension is versus normal setup. When you are in your deadlift setup and your torso is about this, you want your lower back straight, like a straight line. You want it nice and tight. You don't want it rounded. You don't want your lower back rounded. You don't want your lower back hyperextended. If your lower back looks curved like this before the deadlift rep, like curved, oh, I looked a little weird there. If your lower back looks a little curved, like curved like that, that's hyperextended. If you're going to pull in that hyperextended position, it's going to, it's going to, put a lot of strain on that lower back. You do not want to set up a deadlift with a hyperextended lower back. You want it to be in a straight line, you want it to be tight. You don't want it to be curved out this way either. Same thing with squats. Squats provide potentially more dangers when you start with a hyperextension. I see guys doing this on ripito type of squatting um, all the time, and this is not a dig on ripito. People just misunderstand his information. Mark ripito himself, talks about the dangers of hyperextending the lower back prior to squatting. So the ripito squatter will set up and they'll stick their hips up, but while they're stiff, they, they tend to stick their hips out before they actually descend. And when they stick those hips out, one of the things that I see happen a lot is the hyperextension of the lower back before they squat. So they'll stick their hips back and then their lower back will hyperextend a little bit before they descend. I'm not a big fan of a herky-jerky squat. When you get set up, I don't believe in sticking your hips forward and then squatting. I want your hips to go back as you squat. When you get set up in, that, in your stance, I want you to grab a hold of the bar, get a death grip, tighten that back, tighten those elbows, lock them down, and then just, and make sure your lower back is tight. Not hyperextended, not rounded. Tight, tight, tight. Braced, braced. So start and, and make sure that lower back is braced, but your upper body is braced as well. Death grip, lock down, lower back braced, and squat. Okay? Now, if you start, initiate a squat with a hyperextended lower back, and then you go below parallel and you get a little butt wink, because there's an obsession in this industry with ass to grass squats, like there's some holy grail, like you're not a man if your butt is not getting two inches off the ground. I'm not a fan of ass to grass squats, especially when you get butt wink. Now the debate over whether butt wink is good or horrible or awful, let the debates continue. I don't really care. The, the issue is when you get low enough in the squat and your hamstring can't stretch anymore, You'll, your butt will start to curve under. That's butt wing. Now, if you have a hyperextended lower back already when you're initiating the squat and you go very deep and then it starts to curve under, you're going to get looseness in that lower back right at the base of the spine. That's going to put a lot of stress on your lower back, a lot of stress, a lot of stress on that area right at the base of your spine, and that's not a good thing because you're going from hyperextension to butt wink and on every rep. So there's constant a constant stress being placed on that lower back, lower spine area. You do not want to hyperextend prior to squats. So if you're experiencing some, some tenderness or some pain at the base of your spine and lower spine, you need to watch. Maybe bring those squats up a little bit and make sure you're not hyperextending before you squat. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, again, hit up my Q&A link. I answer every question posted. If you have made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I would appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day. My elbow cracked when I did that. I'm old.